Um, actually, uh, as I explained that, uh, you know, uh, opportunistic funds are uh, used to invest into Japan market, but uh, still German open-end fund has started uh, investing in Japan like over 10 years. They are sort of like uh, uh, um, long-term investment, you know, income investment or something like that. But um, they need just uh, um, 5% for the you know, cap rate of, to invest in, into the Japan market at that time. But the, uh, it was a bad timing for them. Like uh, uh, the uh, rent is a sort of like a peak at that time. So uh, um, even though that their investment is um, strategy was uh, quite um, um, suitable for Japan market, but still uh, the rent was uh, higher, much, much higher that they should invest in. So uh, uh, nowadays, the uh, rent is um, bottom. So uh, um, this is a really a good opportunity for investors to do uh, invest into Japan market uh, by seeing that in the lower cap rate, it can be a uh, wax. And uh, um, in Japan now, uh, many of uh, money want to buy uh, properties. But the problem is uh, you can't find any properties in the market. Because um, still, uh, such as CNBS or Japan banks, loan lender is holding their properties. Till um, probably they have to sell it in the soon, like a couple of years later on. And uh, um, many of I think many of investors are looking into Japan market, but still uh, they understand what they've lost in over ten years. So. Uh, they are, uh, I think, clever enough to see the Japan market to see that uh, appropriate rent or appropriate vacancy rate or something like that. They really examine about that stuff. So uh, I don't think it's the price is going up because of the too much you know, competitive competition.